Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Arknights reaction. Today we have the Underdawn Lobby theme remade. I'm going to be as clear as I can here. I don't know how Riverfeed does their stuff, if it's just like a compiled version of a bunch of different sources into one file, if this is a direct rip from the game and it's exactly how it should sound. I am unaware. I've heard some of the stuff that they've uploaded before and it all seemed fine, and this is the one that everyone's telling me to listen to, so I'm going to believe everybody is sending me down the right path here, but I want to wash my hands of any potential sin on my own part if this ends up being the wrong version of the song. But with that said, let's hear what Underdawn has, shall we? Let's go. Oh. Alright. Ooh. I like that bass line. <laughs> Got that 808 feel. Ooh, okay. That was a really powerful pre-chorus on that one. Mm. All right. I really like those angelic vocals up in this space. I really like this beat. got those spooky ocean vibes to it and I'm really digging that actually <laughs> I really like the energy on that pre-chorus Fun work on the synth too. The patterning, especially on those like wobbly ones in the beginning of the chorus. There's some kind of neat uh, vocal dub ah, doubling going on. Tripped over my words there. <laughs> so we're building back into that awesome pre-chorus. Ooh, and they changed it a little bit. Ooh, ooh, okay. Chill. I still love those high vocals. It's beautiful vocalization up that high. Mm. Still love that synth work. Mm. We stepping down. I thought they were just gonna end it a little more normally, actually. There we go. 
I like it when they remove parts from the song for the last refrain. It's always just, it's neat. I like it. <laughs> so I suppose this makes sense, but I thought I recognized the voice all the way through this song. And it reminded me of another one that I've heard from the Salt River and Novice stuff. And I think it might be the same vocalist. They don't really have a name credited for that, but it was one of Adam Gubman's works, Hunter's Song or something like that. So I, I might be the same person that might just sound very similar. But I think it's based off the same character, if the uh, uh, character on screen is anything to go with. I think her name is Scotty? I don't- do, I'm sorry. I, everyone's gonna hate me. I, <laughs> I don't know the characters that well, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that that's the same vocalist, because it would make sense if you're bringing back the same vocalist to represent the same character. I just- that's a good idea, you know? Just like bring in the same person. But it could just be going for the same vocal vibe and that general energy. She had a great, great voice. I loved all of those high vocalizations going on, very siren wailing in the back. It was very pretty. I thought that a lot of it would end up being grating with how high she was going at points, but it never really got there. It was very soft. It was very clear. And I liked that a lot. Some of the stuff in the verses was a little hard to understand, and that just boils down to the mixing, I think, which is kind of what I was worried about with the whole remade thing. I don't know if this is how the actual song is mixed or if this is just a byproduct of them doing what they did. Uh, but either way, it's like, yeah, I bumped those a little bit. The chorus was otherwise fine. I could hear the pre-chorus just fine. But specifically on the verses for me, I was like, there's a little room to improve at least the clarity there. I felt like it was a bit muddy underneath all the other synths and everything. There was a lot of room being lost where the vocals could be put on top of it. This one did remind me of a few other songs I've heard for the past contingency contracts, and it's very possible that it was the same people working on it, but it sounds like a few of them. And I know that the songs I'm thinking of are from different people, so maybe that's just a coincidence, but it did have some similar traits between there. And again, that could boil back to the character being used and the sound they're going for as well. In hindsight, I mentioned the whole like spooky ocean thing and that tracks I didn't even make the connection for the character that totally makes sense and it very well could be why they sound kind of similar but they had a very very similar sound to them overall and as I mentioned as well those synths in there just the way that they were patterned the whoa, 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 like I just I love that I love it when people play with those synth patterns allowing them to just waver at different frequencies to act as a percussive element to support the rest of the melody underneath it's just a really neat way to do that. It can definitely be overused though, so I understand that not everyone uses it. There are very specific cases where it would just sound great, and a lot of the other ones would just sound awful. In this case, it sounded fantastic. I love how well it supported everything else. It kind of brought you through into the next section of the song. It acted as a beacon into that next moment in the track. I know I also mentioned in passing the doubling of the vocals and the way that it was placed in the headphones for me. It was really really neat. It started on this side. There was like a doubling of vocals that was just a whisper and then it kind of swung over to this ear and then as it got into the meat of the song again and as it ramped up into the next movement, the vocals went from a whisper to a normal tone and started showing some more note in there and that was really cool because then it was harmonizing with the main lead vocal and it just came to a full head. That's a really cool aesthetic and again you can draw that back to the whole siren song thing and the way that that ethereal feeling, that whole aesthetic really locks your ears in and it makes you kind of feel like there's somebody walking around you and trying to entice you into hearing what they're about to say. And that's just, it's really cool. The sound design is so neat with this one. I just really wish that the vocals in general were slightly better set into the mix. Albeit I do understand that sometimes mixes just do that. They just put the vocals in and they put things on top of it. I think what was placed on top of the vocals in this one was really nice. It was just a smidge loud compared to especially the verse as I mentioned earlier. Other than that, this song is really neat. Like if this got a slight remastered, 
make the vocals a little bit more clear, I think it would be a perfect track. I really enjoy this one, actually. But I think that's about all I've got to say. Otherwise, I'll keep talking for the next 20 minutes about little details that I liked. So if you liked me talking about those details and you want me to get to more Arknight stuff, leave a comment down below of what I should get to next. People have been bothering me about Water Quench, and I know I'll get there. I promise, guys. I'm sorry. This came out. But <laughs> if you have any songs you want me to listen to, put them down in the comments below, and I will try my best to get to them. And otherwise, if you liked hearing me yap about this one and you want to follow me and support me, you know how to do all that. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!